Okay, I've, I just hit record. Let's let's start over. Um, so according to land mining, it's been exactly five hours twenty nine minutes. Uh, that's what he said. Very accurate guy. Uh, since the last mm -hmm. video, and then Earth said, uh, Earth saw the video and said uh, in thirteen there is liquid updates, uh, and liquid updates are separate from redstone updates. So you don't need to wreck your devices use if you use liquid updates. Like it's like a t talent t update system that is based on just water so we went into this world and uh, started to fill around with uh, with land mining here uh, and earth so we spent too much time um, trying to figure this stuff out so um, the basic gist is the same as the previous one you just schedule a ton of wa water updates and uh, you can actually use water col uh, columns from soul sand uh, and that's how we actually update the water uh, and then we use some kind of a synchronized clock so that uh, the, the synchronized clock and the water updates all are in sync and if this particular device doesn't cause issues for um, tile entities such as uh, redstone components and flying machines and all that stuff that is kind of critical for your world to not get wrecked uh, oh, tile ticks, yeah, tile ticks stuff, like observers and stuff. So I guess we can just demonstrate it. The first thing we do is to use this device from Earth computer, uh, this so, uh, day-night sensor modular machine. Okay, now that this machine is running, uh, we will... Land mining can uh, tr trigger it one second. Yeah, he just triggered it. Yeah. A bunch of liquid updates. And... Did that not work? What? Go and trigger it again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's some weirdness. Weird. Yeah. Apparently, there is still maybe some minor timing issues in this machine. Just try it again. Yeah, it works. It was mm. just a fluke. Uh, we can even, <laughs> like, okay, as demonstration, I'm going to teleport to a random location in this world, and we can actually see that it works. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to put this machine down. Uh, that's not good. One second. Repair. <laughs> um, okay guys, I've started the machine on this end. Can one of you guys flick the lever? Flick and it? Just say when you do it. I did. Okay, so I'm ready. There we go. Try it again. One sec. Uh, you can just see the corners, just some random location. Flicked it. Yeah, you can see that it's really laggy too, <laughs> but it works. Yeah, it actually works. And we can teleport back to land mining. And obviously this device needs to be constantly pulsing, but it works. And it works on liquids. And it's quite a quite simple design. Uh, I'll just fly in here. There is a bunch of rails. Uh, and under, underneath these rails are observers. And there is sticky pistons on top right here. Uh, so on top of this, uh, on top of uh, the observers, there is the sticky pistons, and then there is a bunch of soul sand. And what happens is that the soul sand is like elevated one block and turn all of this water, there is source water everywhere from uh, inside of an entire chunk, a little bit more than a chunk, like a, a one chunk and one layer of, of water. So y if you want to build this one layer and one chunk so it, yeah 16 by 17 or 17 by 16 and then you just like update all of it at the same time so i will provide a world down and you can build this it's probably the easiest and simplest wireless redstone you can build <laughs> 13 is ridiculously simple it's pretty much as simple as it gets and this device 
a couple of observers. I mean, you could probably simplify this clock. You don't need to use observers. We used it for lag efficiency. And uh, in this particular case, I'll just let land mining explain how this part works because this was kind of his. He just randomly just said, "Oh, it works." <laughs> <laughs> and we've been working okay. on this crap for too long and he just fixed it. Yeah, okay. can you just, just explain this? Uh, so the, uh, it dispenses the water and then six game six later it's going to pick it up. And if within the five, so water will only fl flow after five game six. And if um, in those five game six, the tactics get so delayed, it won't have, it won't flow. and. This observer, of course, won't detect that, and a whole bunch of stuff happens, and this will trigger. <laughs> yeah, I just to be specific, uh, the dispenser dispenses and picks up the water six game ticks uh, later, but uh, yep. it, the water has one game tick uh, of delay to flow, and the machine delay uh, re removes that delay, which does, doesn't allow the water to flow, and that's pretty much how this device works. Uh, pretty simple. It's probably possible to build something similar in the nether uh, it, for using with um, lava. We haven't tested, but it's probably possible to, uh, except you can't use water, water columns, but uh, you can use this in the end. Uh, for the nether, you probably have to do some um, redstone and rails and update the red and rails with the redstone, uh, lava with the redstone and such. So it's a bit more complicated, but the concept is almost the same. Uh, anyways, um, I mean, this has pretty much been <laughs> one video after another about redstone, wireless redstone. I'm pretty sure everyone is sick about it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be another wireless redstone in about two hours or something, probably on <laughs> Earth's channel. <laughs> so <laughs> look forward for that. Goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Land Money, you're going to say goodbye. Come on, man. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Earth. Earth, you gonna say bye-bye? Earth, you gonna bye. say bye, -bye. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop echoing. Epic outro. Okay, bye.